DIY Army and welcome back to Fashion Attack. Today we are gonna try to fix a design piece instead of building one from zero. I found this chair in the middle of the street and I decided to rescue it. I actually never did this, this sort of episode and I was gonna just fix it without filming it. But then the other day I was walking through Yafo and I saw in my favorite design store this chair. Yeah. She's a design chair. She's famous. So I decided that maybe even you have at home a super cool piece that is super old and you can't really style it anymore or hide all these bruises. So it would be cool for you to learn how to bring it back to cool or even go to a vintage store, get find something that is super cool and know that you can bring it back to super good quality instead of spending a billion dollars and buying a new one. Let's before starting, let's take a look at the old conditions of this chair. The leather was basically falling off and we need to reapostle it completely. I have to say that the handles and the structure is actually in very good condition, but in case the one you find is not so good, you're just gonna have to spray paint it. That's the best solution that I can offer you. And yeah, you can use this technique basically for any chair. We are gonna find a way to deassemble it and use it as a stencil to recreate any sort of couch or chair. Okay, at this point I decided that well, I will patiently unveil this later. But the most important thing to me is to figure out what is inside and what I have to buy before. The market closed and I can't buy the material anymore. So I'm just gonna make a little cut on the back. This one, where I can take the material that it's just very thin foam and go buy a similar one. So basically, just copy whatever you find inside the chair that you're trying to fix. In my case, I had an external fabric that I decided to switch from leather to something more soft, an internal harder material that is this black one, and a super thin foam. Another thing that you're gonna have to carry with you through this tutorial is a lot of patience, because you have to deassemble the element completely. It's very good if you film it or if you just try to take note of what you're doing because everything that you are unbuilding, you're gonna have to build it back up. And there's no instructions, cause it's an old piece. So obviously, the only thing you can do is copy your own actions. What I did here is simply deassemble it completely, keep all the metal pieces aside. And once I took it out, I found out that the internal piece of the fabric was covered with little, little screws. So I asked help to my beautiful boyfriend and he helped me deassemble it completely cause otherwise it would have taken forever. Yeah! Okay, this is kind of awesome because we have the entire base that we just need to copy to make the entire cover identical. You can use this technique also on other things, like you have a couch, if you want to redo the cover, just find a way to take out the entire dress of your couch and you're gonna have a base to copy identically. So I'm just gonna place it on top of the fabric, trace it, and we are basically done. So here we are for the first time without any mathematical calculation and without breaking our heads. We literally have to copy the entire shape that we have and build it from our chair or couch. I will add two centimeters on the top and on the bottom because this is the fabric that I need to fold on itself as you actually see here in the original. But all the rest is exactly the same size of what you see and you just have to trace it. After we did this first step, you're gonna do the same thing on the front material and on the internal material. So just place one on top of the other and this time use the material that you have already cut it to trace the new shape of the other two pieces. We're gonna do exactly the same thing also with the foam that goes inside, but in this case, I'm gonna do it slightly smaller so that it fits inside the sewings. Cut it out, there we go. We accomplished the sandwich situation over here and we have four layers that we're now gonna sew together. And yeah, the foam is a little bit smaller than the rest of the fabrics because I noticed that that's how it looked in the original one and I'm just literally copying everything I see. We have to do now a lot of little lines and even those, I'm gonna do them placing the original piece on top of this. Before doing that, it's important to sew inside the first 
seam of the bottom of the chair. You see, I fold it on top, the two centimeter extra that we left, and we stitch all the fabrics inside. At this point, you can finally place inside also the foam and create the famous sandwich that we're gonna close also on the top. Now I'm gonna copy also the folds of the initial material. You can see I put a pin on the right and on the left, creating some straight lines. We're gonna follow this one with our little piece of chalk, and we are gonna create the lines that we're gonna have to sew to create the texture of the chair. This is so pretty. We're now gonna use the famous technique, I don't have a ruler and a book is enough, to trace our lines. After we did this, we just pass them inside the sewing machine, you go straight and repeat the same process multiple times. Okay, it's coming out awesome, we're just missing the sewings on the side, we are gonna keep them like one centimeter inside, maybe one and a half on both edges. There we go, sewing also the sides, and then there was this little piece of plastic that I could have bought for 50 cents probably, but I am poor and stingy. So I just decided to rip it off and put it again in between the sewings and the metal frame. Ask your boyfriend or a friend again to help you to push them inside and just screw everything back in. There you go, now we also have to place all the metal parts that we had detached, and the chair is basically done. We are done with the chair and I'm super excited because I just realized that I could go furniture shopping and vintage stores, buy a disgusting, destroyed piece of couch, chair, bed frame, anything, and just fix it with just a few euros. And it doesn't even require so much time because you unsew it, you see the shape, and you just copy it, which is amazing. Now, before I show you the result of this chair, don't forget to subscribe and come next week because we're finally doing the Pasha lounge chair, which is a gorgeous piece. And it has been requested over and over on the channel and I did it. I finished it and I'm definitely publishing it next week. Let's spend a few seconds checking the old version of this chair and see the difference that we made.